Christchurch Pacific leaders during the COVID-19 pandemic were celebrated on Wednesday night at Te Aratai College. Three organisations and three individuals were given awards hosted by the Pacific Youth Leadership and Transformation Charity. Caleb Fotheringham was there and filed this report. Ricky Welsh, who was working at the University of Canterbury at the beginning of the pandemic, got an unexpected call as the country was preparing for lockdown. I got the phone call saying, hey, you've got to be online to meet in um, 10 minutes. And this was 10 o'clock at night time. Um, I was in bed. I had to say, wait, why are you calling me? And they said, oh, because you're the welfare manager. And I was like, is that what I signed up for many years ago? Um, so became the welfare manager in charge of 15,000 students, 2,000 staff, and my job was pretty much make sure we all get through the pandemic. Years later, along with others in the Ōtutahi Pacifica community, he's been honoured for the work he did during the COVID-19 response. Mr Welsh says he feels humbled. Everyone did so much, and so it's hard to accept an award. I actually said no at first, and I suspect most people here did. But at the end of the day, you accept the award because you accept it on behalf of all of the people who supported you. Another award recipient, Maria Parsini, was the coordinator for the COVID-19 response for Pacific Communities. Similar to Mr Welsh, Ms Parsini says the work she did was a collective effort. Pacific people, we don't go on our own anywhere, you know, so relying on others. Uh, and it's a, always, always a privilege to serve with my colleagues and community. Yeah, so very humbled. Ms Parsini says the pandemic brought out the best in the community. She says it was important Pacific faces were at the front of the response and people were able to see themselves in the workforce. We were able to really showcase our values so our values of alofa, which is love, tautua, which is service, and real respect, and working as a collective, so not independently, but you know, as a big community and family. Former New Zealand Director General of Health during the pandemic, Sir Ashley Bloomfield, handed out the awards and gave a speech commending Pacific People's COVID-19 response. He says despite Pacifica communities often being the most affected by outbreaks, they were incredibly responsive. They had the highest testing rates of any group. They had very high vaccination rates. They were incredibly good at listening and, and doing what was asked of them and getting messages out. So, you know, I've only really um, a, a lot of good things to say about just how caring they were, not just for each other, but the way they behaved to look after all New Zealanders was just exemplary. Looking to the future of the health workforce, Ms Parsini says it needs to be more diverse, and not just for Pacifica, but also for Māori and rainbow communities. There needs to be more investment in a more diverse workforce, because... At the end of the day, only you know your own community, you know, you know them best and people trust when they see themselves in the workforce. Ms Parsini says achieving a more diverse workforce will translate to more people engaging in health services.